In this video, I'm gonna show you the best blitz for any kind of compression set like bunch or tight in Madden 23. <clears throat> this comes to us out of the Baltimore Ravens uh, defensive playbook. If you want to get my entire 146 defensive ebook, I'll put a link to that in the description down below. For just 10 bucks, you'll be able to get access to all of my Madden 23 offensive and defensive ebooks. All right, guys, like I said, I wanted to kind of walk you guys through uh, what is my favorite blitz against any kind of compression uh, based set right now. And uh, to me, it is definitely the 146. I think that the 146 is uh, really good for the current state of the game and what you're going to see from most people online, uh, which is some type of tight or bunch set. And so uh, 146 really handles that well. So uh, what we're going to do here, let me just make a couple subs. Uh, let's put Harrison here. Uh, we'll put uh, Derwin and Woolen on the outside. And then we'll have Sartain up top. And we're going to utilize this play here, Cover 2 Sync. This play has been good for years. Now on the audibles, um, you can put really anything you want. I really like just DB Sting 2 Buzz in case I ever need to get into that. Uh, but what you'll see right here. So how does this blitz work? All you're going to do is you are going to hit R1 twice. And then depending on what they call, uh, you should get some type of loop pressures. You see right there, we're able to get the loop in off the right side. Now, what makes this blitz so good is the fact that it is probably the most consistent loop post patch uh, that you're going to see. You're going to see a ton of consistency from this loop. And generally speaking, what I like to do is either either linebacker you can use or either linebacker and it will be effective. But let me show you something real quick. So if I stand right here, you're going to notice the loop is not as good. Sometimes he can get picked up. You're just going to make it a little bit less um inconsistent as long as you stand on the opposite side of the the loop side so you'll see here i'm going to use her and i'm still over the center but i'm just to the slightly to the opposite side and you'll see that this makes this loop significantly more uh, effective as you can see now uh, against compression what are some of the counters that they can have to this defense uh, real quick if you have a good blitz uh, your coverage doesn't have to be great uh, a good blitz can really outdo a good coverage so what you'll see right here is if they do block a running back it does sometimes pick this up it's not 100% though. Uh, it will not 100% pick this up. And what you'll also notice is if you bring these safeties into the box uh, and you pass commit, you're going to see a little bit more consistency uh, in terms of this pressure. And you see there he loops through the B gap. And again, like I said, you're either going to get that quick shed off that edge. That edge rusher typically will get a quick shed animation um, around, kind of looping around the tackle, or he'll just flat out loop around the tackle and um, blocking the running back doesn't. You see right here, perfect example. Running back doesn't pick it up. The blitz comes in. And this also happens if you take your user and you kind of like run at the center just a little bit, um, that will help a little bit too. So you'll see right here. So if I just run down just a little bit, that can help the blitz a little bit as well. And again, this is against a blocked running back. Now, um, real quick, other pass protection formulas that they might have. One of them is becoming less and less popular, but this is still a thing. If they ever motion block a receiver, that is very inconsistent. Sometimes it does work, as you see right here. But as you see, I blocked the receiver and the blitz still came in. And I'm only sitting four people. Um, when you can get pressure in this game by only sitting four people and it's inconsistent in terms of what they can do to pick it up, that's pretty good. Now, what if they go play action? If they go play action, you'll see um, it does pick this up. It's not 100%. Um, that's the beauty of this loop. And one of the quick pro tips that I have for you is just move this guy just a step or two. If you just barely move him, that can help a little bit with this. Um, obviously here, they're like running into them, but you'll see little disengages and quick sheds uh, if you're playing this defense. Now, how do we craft a coverage around this? Well, another thing that you could do is you could try to send it off the other side. So uh, again, we'll we'll send it off of this side now. So we just flipped our play at the line of scrimmage. And let's say they're running that play action. Um, you'll see right here, now the loop's coming through. He comes through the B gap. Yes, the running back picks it up, but it can lead to some quick sheds. If you want to guarantee your pressure against play action, all you have to do um, is you're just going to blitz that slot corner on the left and then you're going to crash your line down. So you see how the, the blitz angles are going to stack up. And then I like to pass commit. Typically that will come off the left and then the B gap will come right through the gap as you see right there. 
So another quick thing you can also do, you'll see here with DB Sting, is if I'm in DB Sting, then all I gotta do is just slide these guy, this guy off the edge on a contain. This is best against gun tight. You wanna slide one guy off the edge on a contain and the other guy you wanna have coming off the edge, as you can see. Or you could just run it out of cover two sync and send it that way. From a coverage perspective, what I like about this blitz is it gives me a lot of flexibility in terms of what I want to do from a coverage perspective. So what I typically like to do um, in this example is specifically against this compression set, I want to be using this this guy just because I want to drop a hard flat from that linebacker. So you see I've created kind of a cover two on the short side of the field and a cover three on the wide side of the field. My favorite way to play defense right now against tight. And what you'll notice is we're going to get the loop and then you know, you're going to be able to hang with really whatever they do. Now you can also put your safeties in outside thirds um, if you want to, because sometimes that can help uh, just get the coverage out there a little bit more. Um, you know, you can certainly do that, but I love being able to drop this flat. The other thing that I can do is I can drop this guy to flat. I can play kind of a cover two on both sides of the field. So we can do something like this or, um, one other cool little thing, little trick here is I will man up the outside player with that safety and I'll take that outside cornerback and I'll man him up on the running back. This is really good in case your opponent is running like the slot post where they, you know, maybe motion this guy um, out and they put him on a wheel. Again, by moving this guy, then he won't move if they motion. That's why I like to move him a little bit. Uh, but anyway, you'll see right here. So now they want to throw that quick throw and now I've got a guy right there able to pick the ball off. So this is my favorite way to defend compressed tight sets right now is this cover two sink utilizing uh, the pressure that you can sit out of one four six. It is really unique to one four six. Um, you know, other formations can certainly create loop pressures, but I don't think any formation is as consistent as this one four six is. Thanks for watching this video. If you want to get my entire ebook on this formation, make sure that you become a Patreon member today. It's only $10 to do so. You can sign up by heading down to the description and going and clicking the link down below.